I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the uh, Bachelor of Human Sciences and uh, to give you some idea of what you would be studying and what you can do with it afterwards and how it may lead to careers or further study. Um, I've just come from a tutorial in a related degree with 300 level students and I explained I was going to do this next and I said what should I tell the possible new students and they said well tell them it's a wonderful modern campus great transport and uh, the staff are very supportive and you can do a lot of online learning the facilities are great and the university bar is really good too so <laughs> that's what they're nearly finished so that was their take on it <laughs> But the Bachelor of Human Sciences, as you can see there, if you're interested in health and community and well-being and all the things we do to make health possible, the Bachelor of Human Sciences uh, will interest you, I think. You can take it to a pathway in uh, postgraduate studies in <laughs> physiotherapy and audiology and other therapies, as Professor Grilly mentioned. It is uh, three years full-time or equivalent in part-time, and you can see this sort of expected ATAR we have there. Some of the benefits, Macquarie University prides itself on having cross-disciplinary study opportunities. So you can get a broad and flexible degree, but you can also, while doing that, equip yourself to make a real difference in health and community work. You can, choose a major and you can choose a second major. So you can follow some interests of yours uh, that you may have developed during high school or in your uh, work or other uh, leisure activities. And one of the things to remember is that health and community is a really fast growing area. We need a lot of well-educated, smart people in this area. And whether you go for a particular title of work or whether you come out with a more generalist degree, there is great need for all of you. It's a, as you can see from the stats here, it's a fast growth area. One of the things we do uh, is through our PACE program, that's participation and community engagement, we try to give you an opportunity to engage with the workplace prior to graduation. So you will be doing uh, a placement of one kind or another so that you have something to pull together all your learning and to apply it and also to add it to your CV. So we try to do this um, as, as an additional benefit to you. Now we permit you to do majors from other parts of the university campus too. Uh, as your second major, or you can pick a range of units that suit your interests. So sometimes we get people who arrive with particular skills in languages and they want to keep those going alongside their chosen degree, and that's fine. We can usually accommodate that. Um, just to give you a little overview of the sort of nitty-gritty of, of the degree of Bachelor of Human Sciences. We currently have, or will have by the beginning of 2015, three qualifying majors. One is human movement, community services, and public health policy and promotion. So for the detail of it, these are, we talk about credit points and uh, you'll get used to that um, if you arrive, when you arrive here. And um, we deliberately keep the required core units of the degree fairly small because we want to enable you to follow your interests in the areas that you want to work in or do further study in. So it allows you to kind of design your degree around majors that, uh, that meet your needs. Just to give you an idea, apart from the three majors that belong to our Bachelor of Human Sciences, there are a whole lot of other ones that you can contemplate adding. And I was talking to one uh, young lady just a moment ago and she's very interested in doing a double major program. And some of the possibilities are listed there on the bottom. So it suits most interests um, that you can add to your Bachelor of Human Sciences if you're if you're keen to further that. Just to give you an example, because it's quite hard, I'm sure, when you're faced with having to write up all your choices for the university's admission center, and you want to think about what am I going to do and what am I actually going to be studying. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview. For 
at the actual degree level, so the Bachelor of Human Sciences, you will be looking at psychology, communication, ethics, law, and policy. So those are the sort of foundation stones of the degree. Then you branch into one of the three majors. And as you can see, the community services major will take you off in those uh, directions that are listed there. And that's because community services requires you to have a really good understanding of organizational practices, of the conditions under, under which people become sick or stay well. And so we try to give you a very well-rounded major through the community services major. For the public health one, uh, you will be looking at health promotion, um, the ins and outs of public health policy design. Uh, you will also have the opportunity to look at social marketing and uh, health education promotion. And for the human major, sorry, human movement major, uh, many people will take that because they have a real interest in physiotherapy at a postgraduate level. But even if you want to take that and you're, you do not wish to go into physiotherapy, it'll equip you very well, this major, for uh, work in allied health. And you will be looking at anatomy and physiology, um, and biomechanics and biology and so on. So there's really uh, some fantastic options in, in terms of what you can do with your degree. Often the parents will say, well, what do you actually do with that when you're done with it? And just to give you a little overview of each of the majors, I've put together this list. We have a related degree, which we are um, putting in under the Bachelor of Human Sciences, and it's a Bachelor of Health. And we've combined some of the knowledge we have of where those students have gone to get jobs. And I'm continually amazed by how interesting and how senior the jobs are that our students will get. And I did some research with employers and they said that the Macquarie University graduates, they simply get health and community. They understand the multifaceted nature of it. They get the, the political aspects of it, the financial aspects of it, and the sociological aspects of it. So employers like our students, which is very nice to hear. So these are sort of things you can think of in terms of, if you're choosing the community services major, in terms of further study and jobs. As I said, we need a lot of very skilled people in a fast growing area. For the public health major, these may be some of the things that you've got your heart set on by way of jobs or by and or further study. We always like to think that our students will be um, committed to lifelong learning and, and most of us on campus you'll find out too. And for the, the third major, the human uh, movement major, as you can see, you can certainly slot into postgraduate uh, allied health courses at Macquarie University, but you can also take it as it is and uh, consider these areas of work. And just to give you, if you like, your learning this way in schematic form, that's a, a kind of flowchart of where this may take you. But I think what it illustrates to, to us is that we will give you, through the Bachelor of Human Sciences, a really good grounding, and we will cater for your special interests and your skills, and we can show you a pathway to work and to further studies. So I'll um, hand over to Dr. Jane Elkington, because you'll have a whole lot of questions like this. I have to say a lot of the staff, we're also parents, and many of us are probably about the same age. My son is still in year 10, so I'm yet to do that bit. Jane and her husband have just taken their third child through the HSC, and other colleagues have children of various ages. So we have a fairly good understanding of um, trying to make the best possible um, future for, for young people post HSC. So I'll hand you over to Jane, who can talk about some of these next areas. 